guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Callie and this channel is all about DIY fashion. As I was deciding what I wanted to focus on for this week, I started browsing Pinterest and Instagram and some of my favorite style bloggers and there was one trend that just kept coming back to me and that is the bell sleeve. I'm sure you guys have seen this trend all over these days. It's just something that's so fun and flirty and feminine. I think it's the perfect touch to add to very simple pieces like basic t-shirts or simple dresses. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. So let's jump into the refashion. For this week's project, I picked up this purpley blue dress I got from the thrift store for $5. Um, it's obviously very outdated, very mm, not super flattering on me. It's got this interesting vest in front, a tie in back, but overall very baggy and just not something I'd wear. Okay, so the first thing I did is I just used my seam ripper to detach this vest from the front. Next, I just decided to remove the sleeves completely and I'll come back and add some better fitting ones later on. Next, I decided to detach the bodice from the skirt. I feel that when you have a garment that is way, way, way too big, um, taking apart the top from the bottom makes it easier to resize. I tried on the bodice and I just started marking where I wanted to add darts in the front from the waistline to the bust, which is one of the best ways to improve the fit of the top of a garment and really emphasize a womanly figure. And I also decided to take in the side seams because again, too big and the armholes were also way too low. Once I had those marked, then I just took it over to the sewing machine and sewed the darts and the new side seams in. And I'm just putting a pin at the point of my shoulder so that I can recut these armholes um, to where they actually need to be. Improving where the point of the shoulder hits really does a lot for the overall fit of your garment and making something look like it fits you and it's not homemade. Next, I tried on the skirt part of my dress and I started making marks for how much of the side seams I needed to take in. So I used Taylor's chart to draw out my new side seams and then pinned the fabric together carefully and then sewed in my new side seams. Next, I took my bodice and I cut straight down the middle of the back. And then I put those um, two sides, right sides together, and pinned down the back and then sewed that together. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, this will make sense later. This is to help when we put in the zipper. Next, I put my bodice and my skirt right sides together and I lined up the center back seam on both the skirt and the bodice, making sure that those lined up as perfectly as possible and then pinning the rest together all the way around. And then I just used the edge of the bodice and skirt as my guide to sew around the entire thing, keeping it as straight as I could. Next, I started working on the zipper. So first I unpicked that whole center back seam um, of the bodice and down a little bit into the skirt to give the space where I'm going to insert my zipper. I just made sure to fold over the edges using that previous seam and iron those flat so that there is a nice folded edge on both sides of that new opening. Next, I took my zipper and I started to line it up with those folded edges um, of the new opening and just getting my folded edge close to the teeth um, of the zipper, having the zipper undone, and just pinning the folded edge of my dress to the zipper. And after I had that all pinned, I took it to the sewing machine and just very carefully sewed down, starting from the top, going down one side of the zipper to the bottom, and then back up to the top of the dress on the other side of the zipper. Next, really quick, I just chopped off the excess bottom of my dress, decided to make this about knee length. Then I went ahead and started reattaching the sleeves and I just kind of matched them up to my new armhole since I decreased that size and this gave me a guide for how much to take in on the bottom of the sleeve so that it was fairly snug on my arm. Once I had that all pinned, then I just went ahead and sewed around the armhole to attach my sleeves to my dress. Okay, now we're going to move on to the fun part, the bell sleeve. 
So first thing you want to do is take your sleeve and measure the bottom. So just measure that opening. Next, just hop onto Google and type in the search bar by hand London circle skirt. And then you'll just click on this first result that pops up, circle skirt app. It's technically meant for circle skirts, but it works perfect for bell sleeves. So just pick inches or centimeters, half skirt, and it doesn't matter which length because that's kind of irrelevant for our sleeve. And then this is the number you'll want to put in. Um, that measurement you got from your sleeve will be your waist size. Then you get the waist radius, and that's the number we really um, care about when we're making our sleeve. Don't pay attention to the length again. It doesn't really matter for this. Then you take your excess fabric and fold it together, right sides together. Then take your measuring tape and put it at the corner of the fabric. Um, and using that measurement you got from the um, website, just pivot your measuring tape all the way around. Um, using that same measurement the whole way to create this little quarter circle. Um, and then you're going to do the same from that circle you just drew. Um, and the next measurement you use is the length you want your sleeve to be. I hope that makes sense. Um, once you have that all drawn out, then just cut out that inner circle and cut out the outer. And you should have this nice half circle. Then fold it in half, right sides together, and sew up those ends so that you have your nice little bell. Then you'll want to turn your belt inside out and place it together with the edge of your sleeve and pin around that whole thing. Then go ahead and sew that together and then take it to the ironing board, unfold your belt and press those seams flat. After doing this, all I did to finish was hemmed my sleeves and the bottom of my dress. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final transformation. <laughs> incorporate the bell sleeve into your closet I would love to see you can find the links to my other social media in the description box below so be sure to tag me I'd love to see what you're doing um, I think that's all I have for today we'll see you guys next week with a new refashion with the focus bye <laughs>